When a blast occurs in a mine shaft several kilometers underground, conditions become unsafe, with sections of the mine stope being at risk of caving in. The CSIR has built a robot that can inspect the conditions of such a mine stope after a blast and report back on the stability of the supporting pillars and the stope roof, whether any gases remain and whether it is safe for humans to enter the stope. Electromechanical engineer Terence Rachidao is providing this robot with the ability to navigate underground without the use of a GPS or visual sensors. An electromechanical engineer basically is a combination of uh, electrical and mechanical, which means that uh, if he's working on a mechanical component, he has better understanding of that component. So if, if he has to program it, then he will have more better uh, information about it. So, well, in just one line, maybe electromechanical uh, combines mechanical and electromechanical in one field. Programming plays a very important role in my job because um, uh, what we do is to teach robots or mechanical components to do specific tasks. So uh, for the components to do any specific tasks, you have to teach it through programming. That's the language it understands. So in, in robotics, programming is very important. Uh, within the CSIR, I work under Mobile Intelligent Autonomous Systems. Um, uh, it's under field robotics. What that is, is that um, we give the robots the intelligence uh, to do things autonomously uh, and they, uh, they can be able to interact with human beings or work in an environment, in, in an environment where they are human beings. Uh, one of the projects that I work on here is um, USA, which is a urban search and rescue project. Uh, what that uh, project entails is that uh, is to build an autonomous robot that can go inside a, a, a dangerous room or environment, map the whole in, in, entire area so that uh, it can assist in in s search and rescue operations. Initially, when I went to varsity, I wanted to do mechanical engineering, and as I was doing first and second year, I got to love uh, robotics. So that's when I changed into electromechanical because there I could do uh, robotics. Basically, with all engineering, uh, the characteristics that you must have, you must uh, love maths, uh, science, and you must also love uh, programming in this case, and you must also love uh, problem solving. Basically, uh, CSIR, I think it's one of the best companies to work in because uh, you get to work with uh, some of the most brilliant people in the world and then you, you get to grow very, very quickly in your career.